Hey guys, do you ever feel like your dreams get kind of put on hold or on the back burner because of your day-to-day to-do list? Do you feel like you're just barely juggling it all right now so you can't imagine making your dreams a priority but yet you feel overwhelmed and frustrated because you know you have these big juicy things that are meant for you and you just can't seem to schedule them in your calendar? Well, I'm Cassandra Bodzak, holistic lifestyle mentor, founder of Appreciate.com, author of Eat With Intention, and the creator of the Lightmaker Book Breathing Group. And this topic is super close to my heart because I relate to it so much. When I first got my book deal, I remember thinking, how in the world am I going to have enough time to successfully run my business and write a book at the same time. And I've worked with so many female entrepreneur clients, women who are on the rise, that are ready to take that next step in their business. And they're always juggling, maintaining their day-to-day, keeping things afloat, and at the same time creating that space for them to really go after that big dream that's in their heart. And so I was really inspired recently. I picked up this book by Stephen Pressfield called Turning Pro. I highly recommend it. Um, His first book, The War of Art, I always recommend to anyone writing a book because it's all about resistance. And Turning Pro echoes that in, in in a different way, talking about the amateur versus the professional. And so you might be thinking, okay, what does this have anything to do with my dreams and putting them on my to-do list? Well, the difference between the amateur and the professional, right, is that the amateur waits, waits for the muse, waits for inspiration to strike, waits for the clouds to magically part and for it to be time to write your book, for it to be time for you to launch that business venture, for it to be time for you to make that move, for it to be time for you to finally make the time to date that man. Whatever your dream is, you know, right now I'm in the process of starting the Lightmaker Book Breathing Group round two. So I've got books on the brain and also of course I'm an author working on my second book. So I feel like books are a lot of things, you know, as an entrepreneur, as someone that has a message that you want to get out in the world, oftentimes we crave a book. We're ready to put our crystallize, our formula and put it down into a nice tangible, affordable, accessible thing that people can get far beyond, you know, being able to afford our coaching services, being able to afford seeing us one-on-one live in person. We yearn to be able to crystallize all those things we teach in a very tangible form so that we can just give it to as many people as possible. So as many people as possible have access um, to that deep wisdom we've harvested inside of us. And, you know, whether it is the man and the the amazing relationship. Maybe it's a cross country move. Maybe it's you want to be on TV. Maybe it's you want to launch your own business or you want to, you know, open your own restaurant. Whatever your dream is, it's yearning to be expressed. It's yearning for you to schedule it on the calendar. And at the end of the day, the practical magic here is really you just acknowledging that it's not going to make you make the time. It's up to you. You have to be the one to say, you know what? This matters to me. I want to make this happen and put it on your calendar and actually, you know, create a time, even if it's once a week, even if it's a weekend a month that you devote to doing something in honor of that big dream. And I get news for you, little cheat code guys. The more frequently you put your dreams on the calendar, the happier and more fulfilled you're gonna feel. Because so much of you know what makes us feel fulfilled, what makes us feel happy in life, right? Is really listening to our heart's callings. And so it's not always the need to, you know, of course the fulfillment of that project of that project or whatever that is, is really wonderful and fabulous. But being in that state of progress towards it, knowing, okay, you know what, every Sunday morning for two hours, I write and I'm going to keep chipping away at that book. And, you know, knowing, okay, you know what, I'm going to go on one day a week. I'm going to go on one day a week because one of my dreams is to meet that incredible man. 
oh, you know what? I want to move to California. You want to move to California? Great. Okay, let's think about it. How much money would you need to move to California? What are the logistical things that would need to shift? And let's put a plan in place. And so often, you know, a lot of times I work with women and they're on that precipice of wanting to leave their job and start their own business. And I always say, okay, well, let's think about what the plan is. Let's think about, you know, how many months would you need to save up X amount to feel comfortable, to have a little bit of time to start your business and get it going? What are the things of the business can we get going now? And the thing is the logistics don't matter in specific. It just matters that you get clear on what the plan is, you start creating progress, you put it on your calendar, right? And all of a sudden, so often, especially when people, you know, sometimes when people want to quit their job or they have a dream that they're just like so ready to see manifest, right? That it's easy for them to feel like they need to have it right now. And the reason they feel like they need to have it right now is because they're not putting it on their calendar. They're not making any progress towards it. And that can be so painful to have a dream in your heart that you're not doing anything about. But as soon as we start taking those baby steps, as soon as we put our dreams on our to-do list, and we realize that, you know, that dream actually will give us more energy, more vibrancy, more excitement to do all of the other things in our day better, with better energy. And so putting your dream on your to-do list is, it's, it's an act of self-love. It's, it's, it's a daily self-care ritual. And you know, it has a lot to do with going from being an amateur to a professional in your life and really taking life on and saying, hey, I'm the author. I'm responsible for what I'm creating in this lifetime. I remember on my book tour, one of the things that came up, I would have women that were, you know, sometimes twice my age, or I'm not well older than me, come up to me and be like, you're so young. I can't believe you wrote a book. I've always wanted to write a book. And I would see the, the sadness in their eyes that that almost, they felt like that ship had sailed, that there was something special about me that they didn't have. And the truth is I looked them in the eyes. And I said, you can do it. You just have to make the time for it. It's not magic. It's literally just actually making the time for it, creating the space in your life. Because I promise you, you can, you can be busy for the rest of your life and never get that dream done. You can be busy with your business for the rest of your life and never write that book. You can be busy with your friends and your work and your family and all that stuff and never make the time to date that wonderful man. You can be busy wherever you are, running your errands, taking care of your house, and never make the time to make that move that your heart's been craving. But I don't want that to happen to you. I want, you to, I want you to grab those juicy dreams and put them on your calendar and make just a little step of progress in your life towards that dream every single day. And um, that's my prayer for you. That's my wish for you. I hope this inspires you to go do that. Put it in your Google Calendar. Make it a reoccurring appointment. And if that dream happens to be writing a book, then I really invite you to join us for this second and last final round of the Lightmaker Book Birthing Group. In six months, we're gonna write your proposals. We're gonna have you sending query letters to agents. We had last round, we had a publishing contract sign. We had multiple ag literary agents again, and a lot of the girls are now in the process of having their book babies really be a thing. And the truth is that could be you too. If a book is in your heart, then just make the time, make the commitment, step into it. And let's be honest, you know, sometimes we need, we need that accountability. Whether it is with the book baby and signing up for a program where you're going to be held accountable, where you're going to have to have my guidance and see me twice a month and have me check in on you, or whether it is, you know, maybe wanting to, to finally feel really strong in your body. Maybe you need a gym running buddy, right? If it's that, if it's the moving dream, right? Maybe you need to speak it out loud, have a friend that holds you to your dream. Accountability is the secret sauce for us humans, right? Because we're all human. So if that's you, I invite you to um, check out the link below for the Lightmaker Book Birthing Group. Send me an email, ASAP, we're starting April 1st, and I would love you to finally put your dream on your to-do list. Mwah. I love you guys. Feel free to comment below and let me know what dream you're putting on your to-do list regularly, and I will cheer you on and send you so much love. Mwah.